Pinters. Hello. And welcome to another Pond Side Chat. Uh, we may have some special guests in the background today as there are some sandhill cranes right behind us. And they may they may yeah, yeah. uh <laughs> they may come over here and visit. Who knows? <laughs> They've been known to do that before. So uh those might be our special guests today. So uh but let's get right to it. What are you drinking today, Sue? I am drinking a new beer that we have that we just put on tap. I don't think anyone's even ordered any. We put it on yesterday, I think. It's the uh, Lexington Kentucky Bourbon Barrel Strawberry Ale. So, you know, we've had the Kentucky Maple Barrel Stout. We ha often have the Kentucky Vanilla Barrel Cream Ale. And now we have the Kentucky Bourbon Barrel Strawberry Ale. Uh, it's an 8% alcohol, and I'm going to have a taste. <laughs> And I was a little distracted by the cranes, which are right behind Sue and are being very funny. It's good. Um, <laughs> mm. Full disclosure, I did have a, a glass of it the other night. Um, but it's delicious. It's strawberry-ish and boozy-ish. So I have had it before, so that's why my reaction probably wasn't like, wow, but that was the other night. <laughs> it's really, really good. Um, like I said, 8%, so it can sneak up on you, but we have a big keg of it, so come on in and taste this. Uh, we've never had it before, and it's delicious. Excellent. Oh, and you? <laughs> you oh, always look like you're about to say something. <laughs> Uh, what am I drinking, you ask? Hang on. <laughs> what are you drinking, Simone? Oh, it's funny you should ask. I'm having a pear cider that is done with champagne yeast. And it is from Original Sin, the, the cidery, Original Sin. And we'll give it a taste. Mmm, that is really nice. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Sue has had only this much of her 8% beer. <laughs> this much. <laughs> uh, full disclosure, I have not had a full glass of this before. I only had a little sample. I thought it was very good. And a uh, big glass reaffirms that. Excellent. Light, not too sweet, good pear flavor. That champagne yeast makes it kind of champagne-y mm -hmm. um so very good i had a taste of it i really liked it yeah it's uh some of our ciders are very sweet this is a little less sweet but mm -hmm. very flavorful and yeah um, not dry though yeah not say. super dry it's like a semi-sweet so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's good oh and i forgot to write this on our list but we are oh. just wrapping up american craft beer week uh, we had craft a beer week yeah we had a great week supporting <laughs> those local and independent breweries we were offering a dollar off pints all week and i think people really enjoyed it and it's yeah. great to support the breweries yeah and we have a lot of local breweries in this area and they're getting to be more every day mm -hmm. um really close by we these we can't get beers from these places because they're so small but like bully brewing and mammoth oak all very local so you should visit those as well um but if you go we get ravenous pig out of orlando um we get 81 bay out of tampa you get swamp head out of gainesville infinite out of ocala so and uh we just got a keg it's not on yet. We just got a keg out of Hiatus Brewery. Oh, yeah. And they are, uh, they've been around a year or more, but they just started distributing. So as soon as we could get a keg of that, we made sure we could. So that will yeah. be coming up in the next couple of weeks, I think. Yeah. So support local, support small businesses, and support, support your small brewers. Yes. We all need to. <laughs> um, so this, uh, that, that was last week. Last week was fun for that. But mm -hmm. this week, big news, drum roll, please. We are going to... Orlando tomorrow to test out an oven which fingers crossed <laughs> will um, allow us to bring wings back so um, it's really expensive <laughs> yes. ah, why do I get attacked every week on my glasses with bugs you know that's what everyone's gonna remember about this <laughs> I know I'm sorry <laughs> um, so, but we're very excited. Uh, we're gonna go test it out. Wish us luck. <laughs> Come buy lots of beer and food so we can afford this. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> and, buy, buy a pint and take, you know, three growlers home with you every time you come in. That will really help. Yes, it'll be, uh, it, it'll, it'll make it all worth it. Jeff, if you want your wings, that's what you need to do. Um, 
Okay. I don't, I don't think people really like our wings, though. I, no. I don't think they're very popular. You have a sandhill crane leg right behind you. <laughs> nope, the other way. Oh, I don't you see can't it. see it. Oh. <laughs> but she's right there. Okay, Anywho, we are not making we are, any sense today. Okay, we are but, rambling. Um, one thing to know that even if this is an oven that's going to work for our needs, I think the lead time is Months. pretty long on it. Yeah, so... Wings are not going to be back right away, but we are actively working on it. Yes. I just wanted to let you know that. Yes. Thank you, COVID, for everything. Um, okay. So, meanwhile, while we wait for wings and an oven, now slide this way. They're right. Do you see them? There they are. <laughs> <laughs> there they are. They're high. Oh, now you can see them. They're going to help me talk about this week's specials since we don't have wings this is kind of to be our lineup for a little while here so you yeah. know what to expect we're gonna have brats on Tuesdays and you know they're delicious a lot of people have asked us you know are they really good brats well they are yes. they are very delicious um, we have on Wednesdays we're gonna have our still have our little homage to the wing with our buffalo chicken flatbread and boneless wings mm -hmm. and uh, we'll continue with our thrifty thursdays on thursdays where we're doing flatbreads at a big discount and um fiesta friday which is a huge hit where we have nachos tacos quesadillas so delicious continuing with nachos on saturday which is fun it's fun for watching games um and yeah. there's usually a lot of sports on tv on saturday so it's fun and great for sharing you know great if you for want to grab a beer with your friends and stuff Share a plate of nachos. It's perfect. And then we uh, repeat the homage to the wing on Sundays with our buffalo chicken flatbread and our boneless wings. So uh, that's that's going to be the lineup. Hopefully I'll remember to change the website this week so you can see <laughs> that. Uh, that's going to be our new lineup. Um, but Sue, you've got some fun stuff coming up. Yeah. Um, I'm just a little tease because it's still in the works. But in early June, like very early June, I think we're going to have a little brewery event. It's going to be more low key than some of our other brewery events, I think. But uh, if it all goes well, we'll have two breweries on the same day coming and passing out some beers and some goodies. So we'll keep you posted on that. But, you know, clear your calendar for the first week in June and we'll let you know the date <laughs> soon. It's going to be a blast. Um, and speaking of um, speaking of dates, we are on May 27th going to have modified hours. We're going to close at 3 to get ready for our first um, Jimmy Mac only event. Excuse me, our Jimmy Mac uh, club members, as you may know, are the members who paid uh, $250 and they get discounts throughout the year and lots of special and unique things. And this event is just for them as a big thank you because Jimmy Mac is coming to town mm -hmm. and he's gonna be here and we'll just have a nice little fun celebration with our Jimmy Mac club folks and it should be fun, May yeah. 27th. We'll have more details going out to the Jimmy Mac uh, members very soon, but definitely save the date Jimmy Mac members and um, we'll see you then. Yeah. Beers. Beers. <laughs> so we've been going through a lot of beers again. Um, Thank which is you awesome. for drinking them. Yeah. Uh, so we have, it looks like nine that have tapped in the past week or so. And I'll just quick run down. down. Best day ever, the pineapple, is it pineapple vanilla? Pineapple coconut. Pineapple, no. What is it? <laughs> it's delicious. It's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, um, Reminiscent of that frozen soft serve that you get at one of the theme parks vanilla. around here. Is it vanilla? Mm -hmm. We've got so many things with coconut and pineapple, it's hard to remember which. Because they go yep. so well together. Yes, yes. So anyway, best day ever. That's back on tap. And uh, uh, Sunshine Greetings, the hibiscus wheat ale from Central 28 is back on tap. We've had that again. Iguana Bait, the honey hibiscus kolsch from Florida Keys Brewery is back on tap. And we have a new lager, Hylia Light Lager from Unbranded that is just tapped. Uh, then we have the Ken Kentucky Bourbon Barrel Strawberry Ale, which is delicious. And then in the IPA department, Sierra Nevada's Summer Break, which is their session IPA. That one went on in the first day we went through half the keg. So <laughs> it may or may not be around by the time you get here. If you come early in the week, maybe you'll be lucky. Uh, if not, there's something good coming on after it. And then Hooter Brown, which we've had before, great brown ale from Oyster City, that's back. 
and then a great Baltic Porter. Baltic Porters are getting a lot of a lot of articles written about them now. And uh, we have Working Man Porter from Ravenous Pig, which is a Baltic Porter, which is a different style than we normally have, but we've had that before. And we just also tapped Pineapple Hula Cider from Cider Boys, which is delicious. And that's it for the new beers. That's a lot of beer. Mm -hmm. Considering every week the list is like 10 or more long. So yeah, we're turning those kegs over pretty well. Yeah. We just have three IPAs that are low that just are not quite turning over. So they're probably all gonna turn over at once. And we got some really good stuff coming on, on those IPA tabs. Yes, good IPAs. Mm -hmm. I think that's it for the week. So we'll wrap up and just say that, you know, remember we have patio dining. Uh, we do online orders. We take reservations. Uh, we do have room for groups, but we really please ask you to do reservations if you're gonna have a larger group. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I think that's it. I was gonna sit mine, but I had a I had a little bug commit suicide in my glass. Is it still alive? <laughs> nope. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna drink mine. Mine is bug free, and I'm gonna drink the whole thing. So, with that, I guess we will bid you adieu. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>